one good example. There are a lot of other examples there. But what you see here is that the media element is playing without any additional plugin installed there. So a lot of companies are already geared up for HTML5. So if you are building your skills on HTML5, it's pretty good for you because a lot of companies today, they want to get to the next level of browsing experience. So they are making or revamping their sites to make it HTML5 compliant. Sandeep and Adi works with a lot of these companies. Rediff is one company which wanted it to comply, be compliant with all these uh, standards there. There are many other companies which are revamping their sites to make it HTML5 compatible. So it's a great opportunity for you to learn HTML5 as well. Okay? And it's an open standard, so there is nothing that is specific to any platform vendor or anything like that. If you learn HTML5, it works on all the supported browsers. All right. So honestly speaking, um, mobile experience is not yet there. Um, you forget about IE or Microsoft for the matter. I don't see HTML5 support out of the box coming in any mobile browser today. If you can correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. For, for device, for device? Okay, great. That's great to hear. Yeah. As of today, IE9 is not supported in mobile devices as of today when I speak there, but there's something that's happening in the background uh, that I can't reveal. But for, I can talk about Microsoft product, IE9 just looks when you remove a particular CSS uh, standard and looks how it looks like kind of thing there, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Change what? I haven't checked that there actually. Even delete an attribute seems there. This is not interval. Okay, so so uh, the, the development toolbar is still under progress. But what we have done is we have done a lot of performance enhancements there. It was not that fast in IE8. We have done some performance enhancements for IE9 so that it stores up very quickly and gives you additional options there. Honestly speaking, I'm still exploring on the new features there, so I'll be able to tell you if you can drop me a line on this thing there. But this is again there in IE8 also, that's what you see there. Your compatibility mode is also there. You can go to browser mode up to IE7 if you want to. How it will run around IE7, you can switch it on at the level there. I don't think, uh, so profiler was all there as well, but if you have not seen this, you can start profiling an application and go and browse the site and then you can stop it there and find out where is that it's really failing or where is that it's hitting there. You can do that all from the Developer tool bus there. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? What is that? Okay. Okay. Which version of IE, which version of Chrome you are talking about? You, you can't just generalize things like this. Right? Chrome also has four versions now. There's Chrome version 1 also. You should tell which version. Okay, okay. So, then if you see for us, I'll ask you a counter question. Hold on. If you are developing a HTML5 application, and if you run on Chrome 1, will it give the same experience? Chrome 1 is Chrome 1. 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 Chrome 1 is Chrome You can't, I think I answered it already, right? Right. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. Go ahead. If you are a developer, you don't really care about what is the OS running there, right? You just have to use HTML5 coding laws, doesn't require you to have anything spread. Yeah. Yes. I think you didn't understand this properly. HTML5 is a standard. You can edit this using Notepad, right? HTML browser, you can design an HTML application using Notepad also, correct? And if you're using XP or Windows 98 for that also, the code base is HTML markup code and it's HTML5 compliant code base. That will run the same on IE9 also. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, if you're talking about CSS3, right, uh, most of the things don't work uh, same on Firefox, the latest build of Firefox or Chrome, because I've tried a lot of times. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll yeah, I, I got your question. Yeah. Let me answer your question. I got your question. So uh, basically, you know, the problem exists. For example, if you look at IE9, whatever sites work in IE7 or 8 works during the problem in IE9. Okay? If you uh, I know you know from developer perspective, we built a site when IE8 came into picture, sites broke. Right? No, it never worked. Right? So you have something called you know, emulate IE7 tags you put in your code and it worked well in IE7 IE8. Same thing, if, you, if, you, if your site works IE7 slash IE8, it works within a problem IE9. No, no tweaking at all required. Okay? Hundred times I don't know, but one day we can check it because you still have a developer job, and uh, that's why I'm saying, no. See, if you are building a site for IE7, you can check it in the compatibility view how it works here. The browser mode you can go and do it there, right? And you can check out which version of browser you want to check it there from here, right? Hundred times I think, uh, yeah, we'll talk after the session. Huh? Let me finish off, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So it's different from Mozilla and other problems. See, I. That's a problem. You need to take care of the way. It's a headache, right? Right, right, right. So, at the same time, it will be easier for all the Okay. Yeah. What, what is that? Sorry. Oh, that's it. Let's see that also. I haven't checked it myself yet, right? So I have nine minutes. I have some. I can take some questions also. I just complete this part, and uh, then we will see a few other things there. So we have made a request currently of doc type 5.html 5.10. I think the internet is having some issue. We'll check it out after this internet is up. Okay? Cool. So um, I think a lot of uh, good questions, a lot of agony that's coming out there. That we have done a lot of work there. Happy? Be happy. You got a good developer job. You still have a job because you have a lot of work. Um, privately, that I want you to do three things there, right? If you are planning to install the platform preview, we can install and check out all these demos and see. Some of you who came here just told that they want to see what is the possibility with HTML5, right? A lot of people said that here. For that, the answer is if you install INA platform preview, you can see some of these possibilities right out of the box. You don't have to build it and wait and see there. You can take it as an inspiration and do it yourself also. Or if you can just want to build it yourself, you can try it out there. But that is there. If you want to check out the real browser, you can install INA beta that's available there for Windows uh, Vista, SP1 and Windows 7. And you can, you can really see the experience that you get there from uh, IE9. Definitely it has been better for me. As much as you all use, I also use IE uh, as my primary browser. And I really look forward to these changes. Because IE8 was there, but it still had some issues there in terms of compatibility, in terms of the new markup, uh, HTML5, etc. there. But IE9 is definitely there, which is uh, really encouraging for me as an end user also. I'm not talking about a developer, I'm talking about as an end user. Right? Cool. Um, any other question? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, as an end user, uh, does it make the uh, installer a little bit bigger because it has to support all the codecs or all the data? Installer for what, IE9? Yeah, okay. uh, any browser for that matter. Mm -hmm. uh, that supports HTML5. Mm -hmm. uh, should it have the codecs in place? Uh, <coughs> really um, okay, so any browser installation will happen as it happens as, right? Today, if you go and install IE9 or Chrome or anything there, it probably takes a few seconds if you are on good bandwidth there, right? There is no difference in that installation there. There is no codec kind of thing there that's installed there. Internally, HTML5 supported browsers will have all the required set of attributes to run the sites there. Uh, it's relatively higher currently. I, I didn't check about Chrome installation uh, size currently, but IE9 is relatively higher now because of the beta part, right? Still in beta and it's in installing some hot fixes internally. 
that's why it's a little higher currently. But when it rolls out, it's going to be much simpler. Right? Yeah. Uh, how do you migrate your application to HTML5? Do you have any tool as such, or how do you know like manage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. One, I mean, one other language just changed into docsite HTML, and I mean, that's the only thing that uh, differentiates Because you have different tags coming up with HTML5, right? For example, I have been working with a couple of customers at Times of India and really from the hands forward. So, uh, according to my personal opinion, again, and that's what uh, most developers tell me as well, HTML5, again, uh, though it's so much a buzz, you end up writing a lot of JavaScript again. The tags just gives you, for example, the canvas tag. I can give you that example. Uh, it's just a container. <laughs> what happens with the inside of JavaScript? Nothing else is happening. Uh, nothing else is uh, the advantage that HTML5 is giving us. Just a tag. In silver light of flash, you know, by default, it gives you a container so that you can program within that paradigm. But otherwise, uh, it's no big deal. For example, audio tag, what Hari showed there from Reddit, it's a simple tag. Uh, no streaming. So nobody would try to be adopted. They want streaming. That's where secure streaming comes into the picture. So, it, we just, it's an inception if you ask me, and I'm no big deal if you ask me. This majority of JavaScript and jQuery people uh, still continue to write that, that stuff. Okay. Any other question? That in case you, your question is not answered, you can always contact me in this way blog address. Uh, you can write to me from here also. But questions now? All the features supported, right? That's a good question, right? HTML5, like I said earlier, it's actually under the, uh, it's still under uh, development. It's not a full-fledged uh, released uh, spec that's out there. They're still uh, working on it, still improvising it and making it better, right? The basic main elements, the canvas element, the video element, the XAML play, the, the, the audio player element, and few other elements which are there are supported by IE, right? Not everything that is there on HTML5 is currently supported. I'm talking about current beta release there, but I don't know what happens between the beta and the actual release. That happens sometimes uh, down <laughs> the, in the half of next year. So before that, probably we'll support most of the important specs that's there in HTML5. But as of today, we don't support everything that is there on the book, right? Uh, what's the second what question? You are on your own. <laughs> no, the answer is. No, I was just joking. Yeah, right? Don't worry about it. Yeah, you are on your own is a good term to use, right? It simplifies my answer. But the answer is that we only support 50% of what is there currently, which are the important things there, right? But uh, we are not sure how much percentage of main HTML tag you to support when the release is going to come there. So we'll be able to comment on that at that time there. As of today, if you design something that doesn't work, that doesn't fit in this deck of HTML5, that is supported by IE9, it will not be supported. be a case to case basis we have to check on this thing i don't have an answer currently for this uh, like what he said right there will be some mechanism case on a case to case basis there there is a list if you go to the same site there is a list of supported tags of html5 which is supported by ie9 that will give you an idea of that there and html5.org i think is the, is the website that has the full list of html5 tags that are under development you can check it out there as well yeah any other question To some extent, uh, I believe. Uh, so uh, so there are uh, part, there are certain parts that are included the volition types or good, like FGS. It lets you have really funny really stuff on the browser itself. As Microsoft uh, is trying to put all these open standards, do I see things like Photosynth moving out of plugin based system like 
That's a good question for me to ask internally. Let me check that. Because um, as a as a user, since I'm an HTML5 user, I expect all my browsers to run everything that Microsoft is supported. Right. In the name of HTML5 to run all the browsers. Right. If I am, doesn't matter what browser. So I would expect uh, Photosynth to work on it. But since you are pushing it so far, should push it on your own products as well. Okay, great. Good feedback, thanks. I don't have an answer for that currently, but uh, I can check and tell you on this thing. Harish, uh, there was a question about uh, develop the developer tool. Right. It's on par with uh, Firebird, I would say. And there are few more, uh, few more plugins that you can add, but there's Fiddler. Fiddler also, Fiddler, Fiddler will give you actually more of socket connections and all those things for your product. Bit by bit, plays uh, also. You can try both, but this is on par, you can edit. Uh, change the CSS styles and all those things. Locally, basically locally. locally. When it is downloaded. And actually you can do a JavaScript debugging to a, a very granular I tried it. Okay, I have been using uh, Chrome from day, day one that it was released. I have two versions. It doesn't even come far that far also. Firefox, I agree, every time it changes, I get a new build and all those things. But this one, I will tell you, you should go with that. Try it once. So the developer plugin part of it is one of the best ones I've ever seen. Just check it. It's good. Whatever you do with Firebug, you can do it. Yeah. Any other question? Let me show that also. Script debugging. Right. That's a script here. Let's try putting a debug point here and run this. <coughs> Once I'm having some issues, but uh, you can do skip debugging, you can do all the things that you want to do there currently. I haven't used Firebug, so I won't be able to comment on that part, but uh, thanks for the feedback. Any other question? For, I, I said that I mentioned something else, right? If you're running IE6 or IE7, you can install something called as Internet Explorer Developer Toolbar. This is not as big as what you see currently, uh, but if you if you want to install, you can, there is an Internet Explorer Developer Toolbar built internally by the team. That you can install, it will come as a small plugin on the bottom of the browser and you can keep seeing all the network post requests etc. there. In case you don't have IE8 or IE9, you can do that also in IE6 and IE7. Okay? Any Which one on XP? I don't see it. I don't see it. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. IE6 market share. Um, I think I'm running out of time, I'll just take the last question and then end, okay? IE6 market share is around 15% currently, right? That time is more? Okay, great. Sorry? So playing a song with it. I was thinking somebody has a mobile phone ring Okay, sorry about that. IE6 has got still 15% market share, right? And who is running this IE6? Is that your question? Is that your question? Who asked the question? You asked the question, okay. What, what is the question? It's Primarily India and China. Yeah, IE6 is there as a part of Windows XP. A lot of people who are, I'll be open here. Okay, I don't think, I know, I know it's recorded, I know, but what I can do. Primarily people who are running pirated version of Windows are running IE6. Right? And there's nothing we can do about it. IE6 is run by, uh, because we are given genuine updates for IE7, etc. for <coughs> Windows, which is running genuine OS. Right? But people who are running uh, IE6 for two reasons. One is that they have pirated the OS. Number two, they have applications which will run only on IE6. They don't want it to break. Right? Many of the companies, like I said earlier, right? They are genuine users, by the way. Okay? They should not be offended. They also are supported as uh, are running IE6 currently. Okay? There's still some market share there. We are trying to get people to IE7 at the minimum so that they can expect better experiences there. Like I said, it's been 10 years back, so different days totally there. Yeah. A 
So, do my, does Microsoft plan in the near future to provide support in IA? Don't worry, we will migrate them. Don't worry. We have big teams to that. <laughs> no worry. All the corporates are managed by us. We will migrate them. Don't worry about it. Why is it taking so long? Corporates are a little stubborn. Right? If they are stubborn, they take a while. In the meantime, is it possible to give up? No, no, we will convince them. We will convince them. Don't worry. Right? Any opinion I told is my own opinion. Please don't take it as Microsoft's opinion. <laughs> right? But uh, that is the answer. Yeah, we also have the same problem. Right? People don't want to migrate. I've done one investment. I don't want to migrate there. For corporates, we have uh, we have migration strategy. We are doing it already. Many companies have already migrated to Windows 7. Forget Windows Vista. Windows 7 also people have done that there. And people who are still not in there, they'll be there soon. They'll see the benefits themselves. Okay. We will give you a new version of ID, don't worry. <laughs> How does it look? Eclipse, I don't know man. Eclipse, uh, we'll try and see if what we can do about it, but I don't think anything that runs uh, but Okay. It doesn't work on Windows 7? Yeah. There is also, by the way, there is also an XP mode that you can choose if you want to run your application which you you are Die hard that you want it to only run on XP. You can use an XP mode also, but I don't want to go there because the conversation is going to Windows client now. But there is an XP mode that you can do. There is M -Doc. There are a lot of things that are there option, available as an option for people who want to run legacy applications which will only work on XP. There are a lot of options available already. Okay, virtualization is one more option. I don't know if you heard about virtualization. Right. All right. So any other question? Right. I really like your spirit, ma'am. I'll take it as a personal thing. Right. I'll make sure that people migrate definitely. <laughs> Any other uh, question? Okay, free takeaways. IETestDrive.com is a site if you want to go and check out all these demos. IETestDrive.com, free demos, everything free, download it. And you can showcase it as a part of your HTML presentations also. And you can also install IE9 beta available there. Uh, the site for doing that is something I want to showcase quickly. 